when God unveils his desire, uh, he actually focused on this tabernacle. So when Jesus came, uh, the word is uh, God tabernacled among men. Right. In other words, it uh, seems God ignored all these, but this, why? This is where God and his created human being can be totally one with him. This is why when Christ come, God tabernacled among men. In other words, uh, here's a real tabernacle. What is in the tabernacle? You have <clears throat> the holy place here. Then you have the holy of holies. In the holy of holies, there's only one piece of furniture. That is uh, what <clears throat> the ark of testimony. Am I right? Uh, when God unveiled <clears throat> this whole thing, uh, he firstly started with the ark of testimony. Uh, then he Talk about, hey, can we just have this one piece that's good enough? Drop the others. Just a tabernacle? Can we only have the tabernacle? Yeah. This is an ark of testimony. This piece was added. Incense, golden incense altar was added because of man's need. You know, out of all furnitures, God unveiled only four. Then in producing it, two added in. One is this incense altar before you come in to the Holy of Holies. This is why uh, when Jesus died on the cross, the, how do you call it, the veil is what? Rent. Uh, yeah, it's rent, right? Then in Hebrews, when Hebrew portray the furnitures, he said, this picture, this furnished piece of furniture is within the Holy of Holies. He says, in the Holy of Holies, <coughs> you have the Ark of Testimony and the Golden Incense Altar. But whatever that is, uh, this piece is crucial because of our weaknesses. But according to God's desire, it basically was not there. He began with this, then leads you to <clears throat> the showbread table to say that, okay, for you to really to bear the testimony of God, you got to enjoy a lot of Christ, dozens of Christ. In other words, uh, Christ should be so rich, so full in your Christian experiences for you to follow the Lord. <clears throat> then, after you eat a lot of Christ, you are so happy. Do young people have that experience? Do you have some experience? You're so happy. We really enjoy Christ. Do you have that experience? You do too. Do you have that? You young people sometimes have exciting times. Get real white, am I right? Uh, almost to a point that beats these others up. Uh, but anyway, because you get so excited. However, uh, with all your excitement, Enjoyment of Christ, the Lord says, you have to be the light. <clears throat> the reason why I'm satisfying you, because I need the light. And this is the only light, the unique light in the holy place. In other words, uh, in all, with all the spiritual things, the golden lampstand become the necessity. If you want to touch the church life, golden lampstand. You want to follow the Lord, golden lampstand. You want to give yourself to serve the Lord, golden lampstand. You want to live a life, satisfy Christ. Again, golden lampstand. Now with this lampstand, uh, God began to work with the person. When God began to work with you, it is always pretty unpleasant. When God leads you, it is always joyful. You know, the more you enjoy Christ, the more the Lord work on you. Do you get my point? It's very interesting. Many brothers will tell you, oh, 
how the Lord bless me, how the Lord bless me with the kids, the Lord bless me with the house, the Lord bless me with a good wife, the Lord bless me with a good husband, the Lord bless me with good health, the Lord bless me with good job, the Lord bless me with a good car. Everything I do, the Lord is with me and it's all become extremely fortunate. But you didn't realize this really means God has a lot of sympathy on you. God look at you. I like to work on you. But if I just touch you a little, before I really touch you, you're like, oh, 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 oh. Then God said, I better stop. I better stop. Now, come, enjoy the showbread more. So when you enjoy the Lord, as your life supply, am I right? Then they say, Lord, I'm ready to love you. He says, Lord will say, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you following me? Yes, I'm following you. Are you going all the way with Christ? Yes. When you really take the steps, it's God is operating. God is, the Bible says, God operating us with might. You know what? When God operates with us, in his operation, there's a lot of things will happen to us so that some reality can come out. You know, nobody, no one really want to love the Lord and follow the Lord. The best is that you are above others. You take Christianity as your career, which is the highest, which is better than Sears Roebuck, which is going to be bankrupt, maybe already bankrupted. It's better than Kmart Walmart because they're out of date. Right? Now they have a Costco is better than Costco. Costco will be replaced someday quickly. Few years, something else will come up. I tell you, brother, <clears throat> eventually uh, you begin to realize there are among other professions. There's a real good profession called serving the Lord. Do you realize that profession? It's a very good profession. But when you are saying, I want to serve the Lord, the Lord says there are two ways. When you just enjoy me, and I bless you, and you can go on. Another way is, I begin to work on you. When I work on you, when I put some pressure on you, then you find out, oh, to follow the Lord is not at all easy. To follow the Lord, follow the Lord, is for the satisfaction of Christ, and not the satisfaction of us. So many Christians says, we use this material, we're happy. We listen to this pastor, we're happy. We sing, we listen to this choir, we're happy. We're doing this Christian work, we're happy. And then I like to ask the question, when you all declare you're happy, can the Lord says, I'm happy too. All of a sudden you realize, yeah, maybe I'm very happy, but maybe the Lord is not so happy. This is why I'm if a golden, thank you all, if a golden lampstand will come in, it's, no, it's very different. Here's where you are going to approach. Here's your enjoying. You don't do much with six bread on each pyre. So it's 12 bread. You can enjoy 12 means full satisfaction. You can totally be satisfied before God. With this satisfaction, God says, okay, now you are so happy with me. You are satisfied with me and in my presence. Let me take you to the where I really work. Actually, you have to realize, offering is the beginning, the altar. Then you come in, you enjoy the Lord. That is very precious. It's already uh, belonged to a tabernacle, already in the holy place. But <clears throat> eventually, huh, for you to really go to the Ark of Testimony, what you need is, I need this lampstand. The experience of the lampstand, to be part of the lampstand, to be the lampstand, so that there's something unique. You see, there are many things put together. Even this, many things put together. Even this, many things put together. Only this, one unique piece. In other words, you, 
Christ, you, and Christ, Christ, and you, you, Christ, one. It's really high, huh? Now, here uh, we come. Even with Christ himself, he and the Father are one. Remember Christ declared, I and my Father are one. I'm one with my Father. Even that, God is say, I need you to be shaped. I want you to be in the proper shape. So the shape can magnify the riches of the operation of the divine life or the divine work. Do you get my point? If here just a piece of gold, it's just like here, it's a piece of gold. Did I do it right? Whatever. And with a hole here, with a little light here. Isn't that? Isn't that light also? Yeah. <laughs> but what does, what does it express? Nothing. Express nothing. So there's a need of peace. There's a need of a shape to show how rich Christ is, how rich Christ has experienced. Also to show us how rich our life can become. So we come to the golden lampstand, huh? Let the brother read for us. Uh, let's continue. Yeah. The support for the lampstand by the supply of the showbread table. Amen. Now you understand, right? With the showbread table, you enjoy Christ so much, then you are ready to become the lampstand for the Lord to work on you. It is marvelous that in the holy place there is both the showbread table and the golden lampstand. Yeah. When God unveiled the sequence of furniture, the order proceeded from the showbread table to the lampstand. Amen. This shows that God first desires to satisfy us. Then we can become his testimony through his beating work. Amen. Do you like it? Yes. First, God desires to satisfy us. Then, what? We can become his testimony through his beating work. In the ex no, just, no you, you, go ahead, yeah. In the experience of Jesus' lovers, Amen. progression is still from the showbread table to the lampstand. Amen. Not only does God desire first to satisfy us, but we too must first enjoy Christ as the life supply in order to go through the hammering work of Christ to become the light bearer. Amen. Yes. Now you understand this, right? Okay, next paragraph. Yes, the hammering work of Christ. On the one hand, it is fortunate to gain only a little of Christ. What a blessing, right? That I just have a little Christ. Yeah, then? With a limited amount of Christ, Amen. we would still enjoy a little life supply. Amen. And the blessings of the Lord. Amen. And we would experience almost no beating work. You know why? He beat you just once. You finished. He can't. So, he cannot. I, I, I don't say this lightly, huh? I see in a very good way. A brother I really love. <clears throat> He's a, a pastor of a large congregation related to the church watch many raised up. Uh, because of that, I visit them and I uh, uh, enjoy uh, speaking in their meetings. I especially enjoy the fellowship with the, the, the at that, over there they call the pastor, uh, which the name don't, doesn't bother me. It's all the same with the leading one. You know, uh, once he had some of his sons moved to United States, and they called him saying, we found a church building uh, for sale. Only 250,000, that's quarter million, right? Yeah, only 250,000 US dollars. He can't believe it. Because 250,000 US dollars can only buy a garage in Shanghai. So he says, wow, it can be that cheap. So he fly over, uh, over that place, and they bought the meeting hall. He called back and said, very excited, very excited. We didn't realize uh, there are uh, the meeting halls that simple. I say with all respect, I love the brothers. So Lord cover me. Quickly, he advised his relatives. Go study theological school. Uh, go prepare yourself to come over, come back to be a minister in this church. Do you realize 
little enjoyment, little Christ. No beating. It's just everything smooth. You, you can make a choice. You want to really love the Lord. Then the Lord says, are you ready? You say, no. Then he says, go to the showbread table. I don't. Then the Lord says, you're saved. Forever saved. I'm with you. Forever with you. I'll protect and bless you. Forever protect and bless you. But remember that. I cannot use you as my testimony. It is a good thing. It is a sad thing. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Tell us. You can have a little blessing mm -hmm. with a little enjoyment mm -hmm. and go to the church and be very happy and satisfied and donate <coughs> a few dollars or some monies mm -hmm. for your, the BTU you generate in the meeting hall. <laughs> they have to pay utilities, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, or you can say, Lord, I love you. Terminate me. Do you get my points or not? Wipe me out. Every part of me. Please, Lord, you wake up. On. Even the Lord bless you is what? It just become a common language of this society. You belong to the Christian society. You say, God bless you. Right? The other says, God bless you too. It's very sweet. But you know. You know, blessing doesn't come in that way. Blessing go to those who say, Lord, I refuse to have little Christ. I refuse to have little blessing. I refuse to have little enjoyment. I refuse to have little work of God upon me. I refuse to be this kind of Christian. I want to give myself fully to yourself. Do you like that? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Can you say that? Yeah. Say that. Can, you, can I repeat after you? I forgot what you said. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I want to give myself to you. I want to give myself to you. Fully. Fully. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. My whole being. My whole being. It's just for you. Just for you. Just for your interest. Just for your interest. So work upon me. So work upon me. I can be a vessel. I can be a vessel. Magnify Christ. Magnify Christ. Isn't that marvelous? You can also pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm just a teeny, mini, little brother. Lord, please don't be too hard on me. You know I love you. I can promise you I will go to the Lord's Day morning meeting uh, every Lord's Day. I will donate $5 every meeting. Uh, Lord, please remember that. I'll read the Bible. In case I forgot it, you forgive me. Uh, if I remember, you reward me. Pray, please, Lord. I'm not joking. How serious you are to him, the same seriousness he will be to you. You play him, he play you. You say, God play with us. What can he do? Because you play with him. He has to play with you. If he's in business, you terminate, you, you vanished already. Do you get my points? God will say, I know. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You know, to unbelievers, God's word is, I'm waiting for you to repent. To believe in Jesus. To Jesus, to Christians, the Lord will say, I'm waiting for you to love me. For you to advance in your Christian life. For you to give yourself to me more, for you to experience me richer, for you to know more of my riches, for you to participate more of my operation, for you to be one, more what you oneness with me in my economy. But that life is so valuable. You know, brother, we are, thank you, brother, we are nothing, right? He's okay. He's a handsome young man. I was Somewhat as handsome as you 60 years ago, but that was 60 years ago. Uh, today I'm old. <clears throat> when I look back, I always had an amazing feeling, very amazed. Lord, how could that be? How could that be that uh, at this age, I love you 60 some years? In the midst, I have a lot of failures. I'm a professional goofer. You know, I goof just about everything. Whatever you give to me, I mess it up. But I still love you. I still enjoy you. 
I say belong to you. I give my authority to you. You are my Lord. You are my owner. You owe, you owe, you, you owe me, not owe me. You owe me in every part. I am yours. Amen. You know, at the age of a little bit over 80, I'm still that happy. Amen. I know that I, I look old, but am I a happy person? Yeah. I'm very tired. Tired with my happiness. I'm happy in my tiredness. In other words, it doesn't make no difference. Why? I just always amazed how, Lord, through the shoe bread table, I am in your presence. I read the Bible. I pray. I touch your presence. I speak out my heart to you. I speak out my need to you. I speak out whatever that frustrates me bother me or I feel I need to you with honesty you always answer with yourself you are the answer to everything and more than that by satisfying me you brought me to be the light bearer brought me to the lampstand and tell me now be realistic with me I will be realistic with you